as you can see, I am dressed for Christmas. So in today's video, we are building a Christmas house in Bloxburg. Yeah, we're doing it for the meme, guys. So the total price is about $20,000. It's a bit over $20,000 if you add Christmas decorations from previous years like you see I did here. So yeah, but it's pretty cheap and affordable. This is the exterior. Let me know if you guys would like to see an interior. <laughs> um, although it is very early, I'm okay with building the interior. We're doing this for the meme, guys, right? <laughs> I know everyone is like, oh, it's Christmas time, November, woo, let's go. Although it's literally like the first few days of November. I get it though, everyone's excited. Anyway, this is such a cute and simple Christmas house. It's a nice start to the season, right? Yeah, we have some candy cane lights, those are so cute. We have these really cool festive bushes with these cute lights. And then these are one of my favorite decorations. Oh my gosh, these are like illuminated Christmas trees. I would literally buy this tree to place in my room in real life. If anyone knows where I can buy one of these, please let me know. <laughs> And then we have these awesome trees with Christmas lights hanging around. And then we have these icicle lights, so pretty, with these hanging snowflakes. Again, one of my favorite decorations. Also, the snowflakes on the walls, my favorite Christmas decoration. I love them so much. And we have the wreath, obviously, classic, with a poinsettia and a tree. Pretty, pretty, okay? <laughs> we have pine trees, of course. Those are perfect for this build. We have some more garlands. I placed those along the windows, so pretty. The snowflakes are everywhere. Yeah, so I thought this is a really nice, cute house. <laughs> it's a great role play and family home. So the interior will have about three to four bedrooms and two bathrooms. You will see the layout once we get started working on it. And I'm gonna let you guys help me choose what room we should place behind the garage. So continue watching as we place the walls on the layout so you guys can help me decide what to build over here because I don't really know. So we're gonna start building now, get comfy, get a snack, maybe some hot chocolate because it is freezing outside. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so here's our layout. So the red lining is the second floor. And this is our first floor. So we're gonna begin and we're gonna place the walls. We're gonna start seven squares back and we're gonna place two walls across. And we're gonna color all the walls white with the horizontal planks material. So we're gonna copy that wall. We're gonna place one down and then three to the right and then up one, three to the right, down two, and then four to the right, and then back two, four, six, eight, ten times. To the left by four, back up one, to the left by five, down two, to the left by two, down one, to the left by one, and then back down two, four, six to where we started. Okay, so now we can go upstairs and we're going to start where we did on the first floor. So seven squares back and two to the right. Then we're gonna go down one and then to the right by three and then back one to the right by three, back one again to the right by four and then back two, four, six, seven times. To the left by four, back one and then to the left two, four, six, eight times and then down two, four, six, eight, nine times. That was a lot of counting. Hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> I think it makes it easier though. But I think I'll place the interior walls just to go over the layout so you guys can see whether or not you'd like to actually build the interior. So this area over here is going to be one bathroom upstairs. This is going to be a bedroom probably for a teen. And then this will be another bedroom, maybe like a master bedroom for adults. And then this will be another bedroom probably for kids. This area right here is going to be empty. We're gonna have a tall ceiling for the living room and then you're gonna have a walkway obviously over here to get to the rooms. So the stairs are gonna be placed down here on the first floor. We're gonna use these spiral recessed stairs because these are like super nice. So this area is going to be the living room. So right here, this will be a bathroom. This is gonna be a wall for the stairs. This right here is going to be a kitchen and then a dining room. And over here, this is where I want you guys to help me out. So I was thinking of making this like an office. This will be the garage. So this is the living room, like I said. I was thinking of placing a door over here to enter the office or I'll make it through the garage. If it's through the garage, the only way to enter the office is obviously through the garage. I'm not sure. Tell me what you guys want over here. An office, a bedroom, whatever you'd like. Where should the door be? Okay, that's it. All the walls are placed. Let's go move on to the roof. So first, we're gonna start off with the flat roof. This is super easy. So we're gonna turn on manual placement. We're gonna start over here where we started with the walls and we're gonna place one in this corner. We're gonna go down by two, go all the way over to the right, two, four, six, eight times to this corner of the garage. Then we're gonna go up two and then to the left by three, down one, to the left by three again, and then back up one, just like that. So we're covering this area right here. See, super easy. Now we can grab the gable roof. Once again, we're turning on manual placement. We're gonna start on this bottom left corner. We're gonna go to the right by four, up three, and then to the left by four. So we're covering this area. And we're gonna also grab this arrow and we're going to make sure we shrink this roof a bit so that it doesn't poke through the interior wall as much. Yeah, if you'd like, you can 
even raise it up a bit, save some money. So we're gonna color this roof dark stone gray with the brick material and then make sure this color is the same as your wall color. So the white with the wood planks material. I just think that's a really great Christmas house color, I guess. You'll see, you'll see. We're gonna use lots of green and red and I think it's gonna look great. I think I'm gonna stick with white and the concrete material for the ceiling color as well. So we can copy that gable roof. We're gonna go upstairs to the second floor now. So we're gonna start off with the center part of the roof. So once again, manual placement is on. We're gonna start at this bottom left corner right here, center of the house. We're gonna go up all the way. Then we're gonna go right to four, six times, and then we're gonna go all the way down to this corner. Then we're gonna go to the left by three and then down one. So we're covering literally the middle part of the roof. So it should look like this. And now we're gonna raise it up a little bit. I know it's kind of expensive, but I think it's gonna look nicer. So I'll just raise it up two or three times. If you don't wanna raise it up, it's fine. You can save the money. So now we can go over here to the left part of the roof. We're gonna start at this corner. I would toggle your roofs if you want. It'll make it a lot easier to see. We're gonna go to the right by three and then back like two and then to the left by three. And then you can shrink it down. You actually save a lot of money that way so now we're gonna go over here to the right part of the roof so we're gonna start at the bottom right corner toggle your roof again and then we're gonna go to the left one two three four five times then we're gonna go back by like four and then all the way to the right by five like that and this time you can raise it up slightly yeah so it should look something like this so now for the remainder of the roof we obviously have to fill that in i'm gonna use a flat roof just to save some money so kind of just cheat my way through this super easy super cheap so now we're actually finished with the roof so we can place the window windows and everything. I'm just gonna color this area. Make sure it's the gray with the bricks and that's it. Okay, so before we place the windows, I'm gonna grab the pillars real quick. I'm gonna use this raised square pillar. I'm gonna place three of these in the corners of this flat roof. So I'm gonna color it white and then I'll probably go with the dark stone gray. I'm gonna place another one right here and then one right here. And then this pillar over here is probably just gonna be the basic plain pillar and that's gonna be colored white with the smooth plastic. Those pillars will be in each corner throughout the entire house. So I'll just place them on the front exterior walls just so we can get that done with and then if we make an interior i'll place them obviously throughout the entire house okay so now we can place the window okay so we're gonna grab the factory window right here and we're gonna place it over here on this wall we're gonna color it white with the smooth plastic and then we're gonna give the window hue a crimson red yeah because christmas colors right okay so now we're gonna grab some shutters we're gonna use like the cheapest ones we're gonna color them maroon and then the lining will be earth green yeah you know it. Okay, so we're gonna copy this window and we're gonna place one right above it Then we're gonna place two over here on this wall and then you could just center those All right now we're gonna grab two more windows So we're gonna use the large factory window this time. We're gonna place it right here So we're gonna color this window the same as the rest of them Okay, and then obviously give it a shutter So our final window will be right here on this second floor center wall We're gonna use this wide curved window and obviously recolor it to match and there you go All our windows are placed Okay, so let's place the door now. So for the front door, we're going to use this traditional side light door. We're going to color it white. And then the door itself is going to be flint. And then once again, that crimson red. There we go. So let's grab the garage door, which will be this rural garage door. And we're going to color it the same as the front door, basically. Except middle part is going to be all flint. And the red is going to be changed to maroon. Just because it's kind of bright. Yeah, looking interesting so far. Let's grab some wall trim. So we're going to use the flat crown molding. And we're going to place it on each wall. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the house itself. So now we get to basically decorate, which is gonna be so much fun. So I'm gonna grab a floor and basically I'm gonna make like a simple walkway all the way up to the door. And then I'm gonna go out along the house and basically just outline this area. So this is kind of like a front porch patio area like that. I'll just color it to concrete. And then obviously we have to make the driveway over here. And I'm even gonna outline the walkway and the driveway with a fence. We're gonna use like the plain short fence and you guys are gonna see why in a second so i'm just gonna color it white so now i'm gonna take the floor again and i'm gonna cover this grass and i'm gonna color it white do you see where i'm going with this yet with the sand material and we're making snow we're gonna go all out for it for the sake of the meme right i'll probably go out a little bit more over here so we can get like a fence same with this side so i think we're gonna use like the picket fence that feels very like cozy yeah i think we're gonna do that and we're gonna alternate it with this hedge we're gonna color it white so it's like a snowy hedge <laughs> and we're just gonna alternate these two fences so every other square we're gonna place the picket fence and then we're gonna fill in the gaps with the snowy hedge yeah that <laughs> that works okay so this is like the fun fun part we get to decorate the house and the lawn guys with these christmas items that i have from last year <laughs> i have a lot yeah so we're gonna have fun with this
process. The first thing I think we're gonna do is place snowflakes all around the house. This is my favorite thing to do for Christmas homes. I love these snowflake decorations. They're definitely my favorite Bloxburg Christmas item. They are so much fun to place around and they take up so much wall space, which is so amazing because I hate empty wall space. So these snowflakes are like a blessing, truly. They're wonderful. So I'm gonna place them throughout this roof like that. So nice, I love it. I don't have many left because they're all in my winter builds. So I'm gonna place a few more on the front door and then maybe like two over here because this is like empty. Okay, we'll do that for now. So I'm also going to grab this wreath and we'll place that on the front door. I'm just gonna change the red back to crimson. Should we place two on like the garage as well? Maybe the corners? <laughs> I don't know if that really makes sense, but like we'll go for it. I also have lots of garlands. <laughs> So I like to place these above my windows like this, above each window. This is such a cute little design. It's so simple, but it definitely adds to the build and it looks so nice. And the colors, they obviously match with our house, <laughs> clearly. It kind of makes it look like the windows are frowning. <laughs> Do you see that? I don't think we'll place one up here though. I think we're gonna leave that window the way it is. Oh yeah, we also have these illuminated bushes. If you guys don't have any Christmas items, by the way, this video will give you a sneak peek at what's to come. So get hyped. I think we'll color these like a yellow i love that color looks so pretty so let's place like a few over here and then maybe we'll place like two over here i actually think we're gonna place a rose bush in the center of these i just think that will look so nice we can place a tree next to these bushes you guys ready for this these items are probably my second favorite bloxburg christmas items behind the snowflakes so these trees are so pretty i'm gonna color them all yellow and we'll place i guess two on each side in front of these pillars and they're welcoming you to the house we even have these holiday trees i guess i'll place one back here i don't know what i'm doing yeah okay <laughs> oh my gosh we have these bare illuminated trees also one of my favorite items look at them we have a snowflake version as well but i don't have any left they're all my other plots so we'll have to wait for those let's do one over here and then i guess one on this side like i'd say in the corner next to this bush how nice is that that's amazing we could even go to garden and grab the pine trees these are obviously like winter trees <laughs> It makes sense to place these around. I'll place it with this tree over here and then maybe another in this corner. I also like to take these dirt piles and then I recolor them to the snow material and then I place these all around so they look like actual like snow mounds. Add some more detail makes it a bit more realistic. <laughs> And we also have these candy cane little light things. So I might place these around. I'm gonna color them like a red and then some of them will be like a yellow. I do have these, these are pretty. Lots of these little like baby trees. <laughs> Ooh, I do have hanging snowflakes. Forgot about those. These are awesome. I'll color them all white. We'll place a few beneath this thingy. See how cute they look? Oh, I love them. And we also have these icicle strand lights. So I think I'm gonna place those between each of these pillars. So three in the center and then two over here because i don't have too many <laughs> i think they look awesome i'm probably gonna place this like little candle over here just for some extra light because it's not as bright over here i'll probably use like a yellow lighting and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this side for the final touch i want to grab a chimney so i think we're gonna go to the second floor this area let's use this large rectangular chimney we'll place it over here we're gonna have to recolor this so we're gonna go with oyster and then we're gonna use this cobblestone material i think that will look so nice and then we'll go with gray one more thing i lied <laughs> i forgot i wanted to place this lamp up here we're gonna go with a yellow orange kind of color and then we're gonna place one more up here i forgot i wanted to do this i'm so sorry okay now with that we should be all finished with the exterior of this build and i like it i think it's a nice christmas family house i have to move myself out of the way i think it's cute it's a nice simple start for christmas we did it for the meme but if you want to rebuild this obviously feel free to and let me know if you'd like to see an interior build although it is very early i will build it let me know what you think in the comments thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye